This video was made possible by Skillshare. Learn with Skillshare for free for two months by being one of the first 200 people to sign up at the link in the description. This intersection here, home to a hotel, a gas station, a CVS, a mall, and this U-Haul is one of the most significant locations in the motion picture industry. But nothing's really here. But what was here was the headquarters of the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers, and so they decided that they would determine the way people got paid off an arbitrary 30-mile circle around them. Still today, this 30-mile zone sets Hollywood's rules and explains why movies are filmed where they are. As it turns out, the film industry is incredibly bureaucratic. There are dozens of unions, each with their own rules on how, when, and for how much their members can work. For example, SAG-AFTRA, along with most other unions, has some super specific rules on exactly when their members must eat. The first meal must start within six hours of the initial call time, then the second meal, if there is one, must begin within six hours of the end of the first. Most of the time, the food is provided on set, but if it's not, it's defined as a walkaway meal and the workers must be given exactly $12 if it's breakfast, $18 if it's lunch, and $30 if it's dinner. According to the rule book, union members must also be put up in first or business class on flights when they travel, but of course, there are exceptions. Economy class is permitted on flights that are nonstop. 1,000 miles or fewer and within the U.S., or if they're nonstop to or from a destination in the U.S. within 1,000 miles of Vancouver or Toronto, or if they're nonstop between Vancouver and L.A., which is 1,086 miles, or if there are six or more members traveling together on the same flight in the same class, presumably to help in times when planes only have six first-class seats. But back to the 30-mile zone. The TMZ, which is indeed what this fine journalistic institution is named after, essentially determines whether a film shoot is considered local or on location. Within the zone, actors, producers, extras, crew members, everyone just reports to work like a normal job. They sleep at home, pay for their own meals, and make their way to or from work on their own. A crew member could live in Westminster, California, just within the TMZ, where it would literally be faster for them to drive to Long Beach Airport, arrive 45 minutes before their flight, and fly to Denver than it would be for them to drive to Thousand Oaks, California, also within the TMZ, and they still would be paid local rates. Since Los Angeles is the city of stars and cars, crew members can be asked to drive what can be up to six hours round trip each day within the TMZ without any additional compensation. If a shoot is outside the TMZ though, it's a whole different story. It depends on the union or production company, but generally, the moment a crew member drives outside the studio zone, they must start getting reimbursed for mileage. That's set at the IRS minimum of 53.5 cents per mile, which by itself isn't much, but when there are hundreds or even thousands of crew members and extras driving potentially hundreds of miles, that can add up. These rules have a big influence on where films and TV shows shoot. It's just much cheaper to film within the TMZ, so most projects are filmed here. For example, here's where Pirates of the Caribbean, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and The Muppets were filmed, here's where Westworld, Django Unchained, and Deadwood were filmed, and here's where Zero Dark Thirty, Iron Man, and American Sniper were filmed. Each of these locations are just within the 30-mile zone, which means all those hundreds or thousands of crew members only had to get paid for a normal day's work as if they were in the studio. Hollywood production companies, especially historically, have set up movie ranches where they have these vast open spaces that can simulate the Wild West, a dense forest, or any other environment despite being within 30 miles of that fateful intersection in downtown LA. Largely because it's just so much cheaper to film within LA, Hollywood continues to exist as the definitive epicenter to the film industry, and it will continue to as long as the 30-mile zone exists. What will also exist for as long as the 30-mile zone exists are Hollywood jobs, which require knowledge, which requires education, which is what you can get from Skillshare. With Skillshare, you can learn skills that could actually eventually get you a job in Hollywood. They have classes on things like how to use a red cinema camera, how to edit in Adobe After Effects, how to direct actors, and so much more. The great thing about Skillshare is they have over 17,000 classes, so if you want to learn something, there's a good chance they have a course on it. What's best is that you can try all this out for free for two months by being one of the first 200 people to sign up at skl.sh slash HAI. Skillshare makes this show possible, so please do give them a shot and try out those two months for free, once again, by signing up at skl.sh slash HAI.